All crocodiles are scary, no matter the size, so when you encounter one that's huge, the fear factor is truly dialed up to 11. These are some big, scaly boys we would never want to meet in real life. Massive, snappy lads that would truly give Captain Hook the willies. These are the 20 largest crocodiles ever recorded. Number 20. Brutus now another great name for a croc, after the famous Greek from the tragedy of Julius Caesar, no doubt. And if that's honestly not the case, well, whatever, it's still a great name. But what made him earn that name of Brutus was not just his size, but it's what he went and stuck his teeth into. A Caesar salad, no doubt. <laughs> Get it? <clears throat> The 5.5 meter crocodile grabbed a hold of a bull shark in a river and that moment would be captured by a tourist and naturally the internet would go crazy over the idea of a crocodile going after a shark and totally owning it. Because trust me, this kind of conflict doesn't happen all that often because sharks and crocs don't exactly live near each other often enough. However, this is not the first time the 80 year old two ton beast has attracted international attention. Photographs of him lifting his two-ton frame out of the river in the Northern Territory to gnaw at some kangaroo meat during a jumping crocodile tour would make headlines in 2011. Think about that for a moment. He did all that work just to get at some kangaroo meat. He must have been really hungry. The best part of it all is that people may be afraid of Brutus, but they're not afraid enough to stay away from him on the river tours. The people running it say that they've gotten constant messages about Brutus, asking if the river tour is the one that has him. Oh, and like a certain other crocodile, he's also missing a leg. However, it doesn't slow him down even for a bit. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Matara Crocodile now this definitely isn't going to be a story that you're expecting because the goal was to actually help the large crocodile. A huge croc over 17 feet long would be captured in Matara, Sri Lanka. It was stuck in a canal leading off of a river, and yes, it was so huge that it got stuck in a canal and needed people's help to get it out. That's, well, you, you just don't see that very often. <laughs> To be clear, once it was captured, it was eventually set free back into the river as that was its home. But it took quite a bit of people to help make that happen given the crocodile size. As you can see from the video, they had to bring in literal heavy machinery to use and coordinate an effort from the people themselves in order to make it all work. That's some dedication that I can absolutely appreciate. Just think about it like this. You might not feel that crocs should deserve this kind of treatment, mainly because they've been known to hurt and kill humans in the past, but they're living creatures and they deserve all the same rights in terms of living in an environment that we do living in our cities and towns. Clearly a bunch of people felt this way or else the crocodile would have been stuck still and not gotten out of the canal. Hopefully you'll see that a little bit of kindness goes a really long way. Number 18. Jaws 3. Now, right off the bat, that's just a name failure. I mean, seriously, that is the hugest name fail. Jaws was a great white shark, not a crocodile. If you're gonna name a creature after a famous movie creature, you should make sure that you're dealing with the same kind of creature. What's next? Naming a big lion anaconda or a big snake Simba? I don't think so. You should have some integrity. Jaws 3 is a huge saltwater crocodile living in the Madras Crocodile Bank Trust and Center for Herpetology, a reptile zoo and herpetology research station located 29 miles south of the city of Chennai in the state of Tamil Nadu, India. Jaws 3 is 17 feet long, if you can believe that, and weighs over a ton. Yes, it's a truly massive crocodile, and it's believed to be the biggest in captivity in Southern Asia. He's one of the biggest attractions in the entire park, in fact. 
Something you can very easily see about this croc is that despite having all of the length and girth, it can get a lot of movement going when it wants to, which includes when it's getting fed by someone who clearly doesn't mind being next to the mammoth creature. And as many people have noted, this is a nice enclosure for the croc. I mean, seriously, just think about it. You often wonder how much the animals in places like this are treated, but this croc is living at large, which is kind of cool, but also makes me regret my current living space. Number 17. Port Moresby Crocodile What's scarier than a large crocodile? How about a person who's unafraid of literally riding said crocodiles? Well, you're about to meet one. Port Moresby's Adventure Park Animal Keeper, Mr. Farapo Sare of Gulf Province, is Papua New Guinea's Crocodile Dundee. Mr. Sare is the only person who can ride a crocodile like he's riding a horse and kiss it like he's kissing a wallaby. So automatically, the guy is someone I don't want to meet because he'd probably encourage me to try and get as close to these crocs as possible, and I really don't want anything to do with them. And neither does my pet guinea pig, Twinkle. To be clear, he's not riding a small croc. He's ridden one that's over 18 feet long and did it live before a studio audience. Again, the guy's clearly crazy, which is further proven by the story that one of his partners in this act was attacked by the crocs that they were working with, and yet it didn't deter him from being close to the crocs themselves. He's even gone on to say that he was born to do the job, and he's not going to give it up no matter what happens. Look, I get it that someone being dedicated to their job is a beautiful thing, but this isn't a marketing job or even an athletic position or something where you sit in front of a microphone and talk about animals on YouTube every day. This is a guy who's riding crocodiles because he thinks it's a good idea. Get the man some help, in the mental sense, before something else goes wrong. Number 16. Go Mech. Yes, I'm going back to talking about just crocodiles, not humans who ride them. A monster saltwater crocodile named Gomek was a large saltwater crocodile captured by George Craig in Papua New Guinea. He would be purchased by Terry and Arthur Jones in 1985 and kept in Florida for five years before being sold to the St. Augustine Alligator Farm Zoological Park in Florida. Woo! Were you surprised that there was an alligator farm in Florida? Well, you shouldn't be, because it's Florida. Naturally, the large saltwater crocodile was one that entertained a lot of people with its abilities. Eventually, in 1997, Gomak would pass away from heart disease. Even then, he was a very old crocodile and one of the largest and most tame captive crocs in existence, which is really interesting when you think about it. When he died, he was 17.8 feet long and weighed over 1,896 pounds. That's an incredible crocodile, and you almost have to feel bad that it lived in a park to be watched and gushed upon by humans. But then again, if it hadn't been in the park, it would have been in the wilds of Papua New Guinea and either terrorizing people or animals. So it is a strange catch-22. I will say that I do hope that the people who interacted with Gomek had a good plan of health insurance because something that large is equally as unpredictable. Number 15. Tripod. Let's see, what kind of person goes and names their crocodile tripod? Well, it's simple, a person who doesn't see the croc as an animal, but rather as a pet. And yes, I'm telling this kind of story, because a few decades back, baby crocs and alligators were a kind of pet that was really popular with some people, mainly because they like the idea of an exotic creature as a pet, but as you would expect, they eventually grew too big to be able to contain, and there are actually laws now that prevent more people from having crocs as pets. But do you think that Matt Wright from Australia really cared about this? No, he did not, because he went and got himself a croc and kept it all the way until it was a massive adult who apparently was about 90 years old. That is a really old crocodile. Now, needless to say, he has such a connection with Tripod that he could stand on the muddy banks in which his croc liked to live and have no fear of being struck down by the beast. What's more, he's also so playful with the croc that he can slap it on the nose and get no response. 
and he's more than happy to toss part of a boar, that's right, as in the animal the boar, right into the crocodile's mouth without blinking an eye. Now, I'm not saying that Matt is as crazy as the croc rider from before, but it does come close. And if there were more people like him in the world in terms of raising crocodiles as pets, well, the world would be even more doomed than it is right now. Number 14. Cassius now, this is a name for a crocodile. It invokes a certain feeling connected to Greek tales of the past and just makes you think that you're dealing with a powerful creature. Oh, and we are because this particular croc was the largest croc that was kept in captivity for a long time. Cassius is 17 feet 11 inches long and is believed to be around 110 years old, named after Cassius Clay, the birth name of boxer Muhammad Ali. So it's not exactly Greek, but it still has that croc named after a powerful man feel, which we can all appreciate. Cassius is missing his front left leg and the tip of his tail due to vicious fighting, and he lives in Marineland, Melanesia on Green Island in Australia. The crocodile would be captured in 1987 in a river in the Northern Territory after attacking boats and causing a nuisance. A nuisance? Cassius? Perish the thought. Why in the world would a 100-year-old 17-foot-long crocodile be a nuisance in the world? Anyways, funnily enough, Cassius was caught by the same guy who caught Gomek, so how's that for an interconnected croc universe? Also, can I talk about that lost limb part for a moment? Because that just goes to show how boss this crocodile is, that he's willing to go up against other crocs, lose a leg, and apparently still be a nuisance to society. That's dedication, ladies and gentlemen, so let's give that croc a hand. <laughs> Number 13. Yai. Not the best name for a crocodile, but it's not exactly the worst. Yai is an estuarine Siamese hybrid. I probably mangled that pronunciation. It's at the Sumat Prakan Crocodile Farm and Zoo in Thailand, and the length is between 5.5 and 6 meters long, depending on who you talk to. Either way, it's a pretty big crocodile. Unlike several other crocs on the list who were captured in wild places, Yai has been trained on the farm so that it won't go and hurt anyone who gets too close. This includes people at the croc farm who have to not just feed the thing but also clean it. You don't really want to know how they do it. And if you're brave enough, you can actually touch Yai for yourself, as you can see in the video. It's honestly a little bit off-putting how seemingly easy it is to get next to Yai, but on the other hand, it's good to know that it's not the kind of croc that will strike first and ask questions never. Because that's what's gotten people into trouble at zoos in the past. Now, granted, this is a trained crocodile, so the last thing you want to do is make the mistake of trying this out in the wild. But if you're in the right kind of enclosure or farm or even a zoo, why not try to touch the croc? I just hope you signed a waiver beforehand. Number 12. Tawi Tawi Crocodile Let's take a journey all the way back to the good old year of 2017. Look, it honestly was a long time ago, especially with everything that's been going on the past couple of years. On September 9th, 2017, a 5.15 meters saltwater crocodile would be captured by fishermen in Tawi Tawi, an island province in the Philippines. Funnily enough, the first time a fisherman saw the croc, they honestly thought that it was too big to be one. Instead, they just simply thought that it was a log. Thankfully, they realized the truth sooner than later, mainly because he got closer and realized that wooden logs didn't look or even move like crocodiles. Go figure. Anyways, after this encounter, he contacted the local authorities and they were able to get some help in trying to contain the croc. And why did they feel the need to get this croc away from the village? Well, this particular one was found to be most aggressive. For example, when it was in the midst of being captured, it went ape and actually wrecked some boats that the people were using to catch it. So yeah, that's not good. However, they were able to capture it, so it ended up good in the end. 
The key word here is capture. It would have been a lot easier to kill it, but that's illegal in the Philippines. No, really. If you kill a croc, you'll be slapped with a huge fine and then spend up to six years in jail. So you can see why such a large operation was held to catch this huge croc. Needless to say, everyone was glad in the end. Number 11. Dubai Aquarium King Croc Seeing crocodiles in zoos and aquariums isn't all that rare because they're a classic kind of creature that people don't mind seeing up close, so long as the croc in question is behind some sheets of glass. Originally spotted measuring only 2.4 meters in length and dubbed a problem crocodile by the locals, the soon-to-be king croc was quickly moved from the botanic gardens that he had taken over to a more protected environment located in Queensland, Australia. Then in 2014, he arrived at the Dubai Aquarium and Underwater Zoo, and as it traveled, it grew, and it now is 750 kilograms, measuring over 5 meters in length. The crocodile's also apparently very old, and despite that fact, it just keeps growing. Because why would a creature known as King Croc possibly ever stop growing just because it's a certain age? As for why the Dubai Aquarium likely wanted this massive croc, it should be known that the United Arab Emirates have been doing everything in their power to get all kinds of attractions in order to bring people to their country. So having a massive crocodile for people to see and ogle at? Well, yeah, let's all go do that. The only thing that would be even more appropriate was that someone came along to actually crown this king so that no one would challenge his reign. Just saying, could you imagine the ceremony that would go down for that? It would be legendary. Number 10. Dominator Now, I love it when these crocs have great names, can't you tell? Dominator. It just strikes fear into the hearts of men and possibly other crocodiles. Because what does this croc do just by existing? Well, it dominates, and it exists in a place that you're already very familiar with. Dominator measures somewhere between 5.5 to 6.1 meters, and has been snapped leaping out of the water almost as high as the canopy of an Adelaide River cruise tour boat. Yes, the same river boat that holds the mighty Brutus also has a crocodile that's able to leap out of the water at such incredible speeds and heights that I'm never going to go on that river boat tour ever. Oh, and don't think for one moment that Dominator just allows Brutus to exist in the river or vice versa. There's apparently a blood feud going on between the two, and it might be the reason why Brutus is missing that leg. Oh, and has a bunch of scars all over his body. Dominator, though, well, he doesn't have a scratch, apparently, because he dominates Brutus. Eventually, their rivalry apparently died down a bit, partly because the River Tour do their best to keep them separated. All that being said, life certainly finds a way for things to reconnect. Number 9. Lo Long in many aspects, Lo Long is the biggest crocodile ever captured, measuring in at 20 feet 3 inches, weighing about 2,370 pounds. That makes him one of the largest crocodiles ever measured from snout to tail. And when you think about all the crocodiles that we've seen so far, this is the biggest of the bunch. But what really makes Lo Long so special is its story, because this was a croc that was believed to be a terror to people and possibly even ate a child. So that's when about a hundred people came together to try and capture the croc, and it took them quite a while to do so. The twist is that after all that effort, when they went to pump out the croc's stomach, no human remains were found. Whoopsie! That's not to say that Lo Long couldn't have eaten a human eventually, it's just that it didn't happen at that time. Still though, the crocodile would be taken to an enclosure where it could be admired and not have a chance of eating people. It's the little things that make everyone happy now, isn't it? Sadly though, Lo Long would eventually pass away in 2013 of cardiac arrest. Number 8. Akko 
This is just as much a story about the person capturing the croc as the croc itself. Akko is Australia Zoo's largest croc, measuring about 16 feet long, weighing approximately a ton, and because of his cunning nature and intelligence, it would take a guy named Steve almost two years to catch him and remove him from a property where he was under threat of being shot. Which automatically makes Steve a hero in our book because he really wanted to save the croc, clearly. Oh, and that Steve? Well, it was Steve Irwin. Yes, the legendary croc hunter himself was the one who saved Akko and was able to bring him to a safe enclosure to live in. I sure do miss you, Steve. Steve would enlist the help of the cane farmers who owned the property to get Akko safely captured and as a result, help them to understand all about crocodiles and why they behave the way they do. It turns out that a little knowledge goes a long way and that's why Steve was such a great person because he wanted to help all wildlife, not just the ones that people thought were cute and worthy. Oh, it's okay, Twinkle. Go and rub your autographed picture of Steve Irwin already ready and leave it alone. Number 7. Rizal Palawan Croc One of the things that crocodiles have in common with sharks is that there are plenty it was this big stories, and that takes us to Rizal Palawan, where fishermen claim that they saw a crocodile that was bigger than Lolong, which if you recall was over 20 feet, and they went on a mission to try and find it. To be fair, they did go and catch some crocodiles, including ones that were 13 and 16 feet long, but they didn't get one that was over 20 feet long. This is important because a lot of people are going to tell you that they've seen something that was bigger than anything they've seen before, but human perception of things isn't something that can be relied upon. That's why we only accept confirmed measurements and not estimations. Trust what you can measure, not what you can see, and it'll save a lot of time and hassle. Number 6. Orinoco Crocodile The Orinoco Crocodile is critically endangered. Its population size is very small and it can only be found in freshwater environments in Colombia and Venezuela. Extensively hunted for their skin in the 19th and 20th centuries, it's one of the most endangered species of crocodiles, which already makes it a key thing to talk about because conservation of any species is important, but for crocodiles you don't often hear about it happening. It is a very large species of crocodilian. Males have been reported to be up to 22 feet and 4 inches in the past, but sizes like that don't exist today. Today's standard C 17 feet 1 inches as being a more widely accepted maximum size. A large male may attain up to 13 feet 5 inches in length, weighing anywhere around 840 pounds, while females are substantially smaller, with the largest to weigh 496 pounds. So yes, it makes it a very interesting crocodile indeed. Number 5. Point Noir Crocodile this is a story of a croc that's almost too good to be true, and it just might be, but I'll roll with it for now. This crocodile was found in New Orleans, swimming down the street. 21 feet long and 4,500 pounds, about 80 years old at the minimum, or at least that's what the claim is. Specialists said that he was looking to eat humans because he was too old to catch animals, which is a bit odd if you think about it, because crocodiles don't naturally go after humans. They're more of a convenience chooser, but whatever. Oddly enough, the croc was deemed such a threat that it was killed by the army and then put into a freezer so that its stomach could be checked later. I just feel bad for the thing now. Number 4. Bujang Senong now, I'm sure I probably mangled that pronunciation pretty bad, but it's not a croc that's alive right now, mainly because it was killed and then its bones were put on display for everyone to see. And oh, what a sight it is. Because apparently this croc was 20 feet long and had gotten the ire of local people because it ate a woman. Yes, that's confirmed, it ate a woman. Then there's a story about a shaman and how the crocodile was reincarnated and was just trying to get revenge for something, and then it gets weird. Like, really weird. But seriously, a 20 foot long crocodile's pretty big, and it's right up there with Lo Long. The story's just, well, it's set dressing for the real story, is all. Number 3. Utan. 
Before Lalong came along, there was another crocodile that was so big that it was king of the crocs, and that would be the massive crocodile known as Utan. Utan was considered one of the largest crocodiles on exhibit in the United States and is a hybrid breed between a saltwater and Siamese crocodile. Born in 1964, he weighed in at 2,000 pounds and just over 18 feet in length. Utan lives in a 5,000 square foot exhibit with a luxury pool containing over 30,000 gallons of fresh water, so yes, it is an apt place for a crocodile to live in because it was just plain massive. Now it's true, Lolong did usurp it as the biggest croc in captivity for a time, but big is big and that's not something that you can really deny. Number 2. Gustav now you've no doubt heard stories of crocodiles being terrors to people of certain areas. Well, when it comes to Gustav, he's one that lives up to the hype in every way imaginable, because he's stated to have eaten hundreds of people, and when he returned after a 16-month hiatus in his home area, people took notice, because they didn't want to be next on the crocodile's meal list. While Gustav was never measured, it was believed that he was about 20 feet and 2,000 pounds, so he was something that everyone one should fear, and many indeed did. When you have a crocodile that has its own monster legend about it, that is impressive after all. Number 1. Chris Finally, we've got the tale of a lady stepping up and doing what the real men couldn't do, kill a massive crocodile. Christina Pawlowski had been crocodile hunting for two years when she shot an 8.6 meter monster in 1957 on the MacArthur Bank in the Norman River, Queensland. No one could believe that she did it, but she did. That is a massive croc and there are pictures to show just how huge the thing was. Others had been trying to get this croc in their sights, but she did it with ease. What's more, she went on hunting for a long time afterwards and apparently was so good good that she only missed three shots in her entire life. So it's just fitting that we end this list with a massive crocodile getting owned by a great crocodile hunter. That's all from the realm of really large crocodiles. Were you amazed by just how massive some of these were in terms of length and weight? And does this make you think twice about going into the areas where crocodiles might be lurking? Let me know in the comments below. Also be sure to check out the other cool stuff showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.